Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got another review on the foot birthday Christian Gunter card. We're going to go through the card, see some stats, clips and summary. Before we get into all of that, if I could ask you guys to please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you know why not upload and comment down below if you're going to use this card. And now, let's get into the video. So guys, getting into this Christian Gunter summary. I played him in the 4 one in that left back slot. I did also try him in that centre back slot. And overall, guys, my first impressions of this card, I think this card is a really good card. Um, I think he plays very well, especially given he's only 85 races. What he's able to do is very, very good, uh, and I'm very happy with how he played on my team. Let's just get into the review. Christian Gunter, 6 foot 1, high, medium work, he's left footed, 5 star skill moves, 3 star weak foot, 12 games played, 1 goal scored, and 1 assist. Now, guys, I have been playing more games with this card because he is actually in my first team now. Um, I really do enjoy using him in, in that team, and I feel like he does a very good job. 5 star skill moves is lovely to have, 4 star weak foot. Uh, uh, three star weak foot sorry a little bit annoying i wish it was four star weak foot the work rates aren't too bad and he's got a good height especially for a fullback or a center back as well so usable in both of those positions in terms of the chemistry style, guys now although he does have decent pace i had to put a shadow on him you guys will see why in just a second and then his defending for me needed a little bit of a boost as well just getting straight into that though guys the key pros of this card has got great sprint speed crossing decent dribbling uh, as well some cons and pros in there great physicality stats and decent defending as well the cons of this card his acceleration is a little low for a fullback so if you're going to play him out there you do need to boost that acceleration if you're going to play him a center back i don't think you need to but if you're going to play him a fullback then you will need to do that his agility and balance are a little bit lower as well than say some other fullbacks that you can use uh, and his passing is a little worse than some other fullbacks as well however guys i do feel like that if you focus on his defending and his pace especially in that fullback slot you don't really need to focus on anything else as much if you were to play him in the center back slot i would recommend the defending the, and and or the dribbling and the passing just to kind of help him out uh, be a more technical player we will discuss that more in the summary getting into the player traits guys he's got three the solid player the early crosser and the speed dribbler so now that we've covered all those and those lovely traits as well we're going to get into some of the clips that i got with him so guys getting into some of christian gunter's clips and what you guys are going to see is his general ability at that left back slot the size and power that he has and the defending capability that he has as well now the first thing i want to get into guys is the big factor about this card the first stat the pace now the pace on this card is really good guys of course the acceleration is lower than the sprint speed i think that is of course because of his height he is such a big player however guys what i would say is with the right chemistry style and i think the shadow is the right one for him what you get of course is a 99 pace player who's able to do all the defending and all the tracking back in behind the center backs that you need him to be able to do uh, so that's uh, easily remedied in that it's not too much of an issue and can be a big plus of this card given the size he is at the next thing i want to move into guys is actually his defending now his defending is good uh, it's not very good it's just good it does need a helping hand guys and again the shadow will be the best one for you guys to help him out and enable him to be able to defend properly and what that will allow you to do guys is just defend at a higher level using that physicality as well and it keeps relating back to this and it's the biggest factor about this card and why we why we kind of compared this card to yuri bachiche as well is that the physical element of this card is so huge in terms of how he plays because he is so big and strong and capable at that left back slot that it allows you to play with another dimension to your team or it allows you to cover your center backs a little bit easier or even play him at center back as well if required for a more for a more pacey uh, or agile defense as well so this card really did i think have a lot of pluses to it just in terms of all of that and which leads me into the final thing i do want to discuss with these guys which is the physicality in terms of pros which again as i previously mentioned is tremendous he's very strong very powerful very quick uh, and what that does allow you to be able to do is tackle all sorts of players whether it's the bigger strikers the smaller slighter uh, wingers he's able to take anyone on he's able to hold his own as well which was really nice to have in terms of the cons guys there are only minor ones really i do think that his dribbling is a little bit stiff but again with your fullback unless it's roberto carlos i don't think you should be dribbling with them and his passing was just okay i don't think it was particularly amazing but it was serviceable and i was able to play uh, the passes that i needed to be able to play with him so that i could get attacks going or quickly get the transition going as well on the reverse so guys overall i don't think those issues are too much uh, of a general issue uh, when discussing this card as we get into the final few clips guys you're just going to see more of the same of what he's able to do and a lot of attacking clips as well guys for this one uh, and he did actually manage to get one goal for me here which of course was very nice he bursting away from defense into that uh, left wing slot getting into the box and leathering it in 
So guys, getting to this final Christian Gunter summary. 110k on the PlayStation, 103 on the Xbox, and 132 on the PC. Now guys, if we just get straight into the key stats of this card, um, I do feel like the pace is very good. However, his acceleration does need a helping hand, so please do bear that in mind, guys. Physicality is tremendous on this card, really great. Uh, and the jumping wasn't too much of an issue for me, uh, given his size. 96 crossing as well, really good there too. Um, and good, generally decent dribbling. I mean, his agility and balance aren't that great, but I feel like you don't need to worry about that too much, given his decent reaction actions uh, you don't need to be dribbling around with this car too much just use him for the defending aspects in terms of the chemistry style guys you could use the shadow of him if you're going to play him out wide at the fullback position now guys this card is capable of playing the center back slot so you wouldn't need to focus on this that much if you're going to play him in the center back slot however if you're going to play him in the fullback slot this is where i would recommend you look at boosting the card just because he needs that pace upgraded acceleration to be able to carry uh, stay with those wingers that go at him uh, he also needs to be able to defend a little better so i would always focus on that as well for this card if you're going to put him in center back guys you may be better off going with something like a guardian or something else that boosts his defending uh, and other parts of his technical game maybe his passing like a powerhouse would do him a world of good as well just being able to distribute the ball really well uh, and boosting his general defending as well so there's a bunch of ways you can go but guys i like this card at fullback so my recommended chemistry style if you are going to play him there would be the shadow in terms of similar players guys like we mentioned earlier on there is one card that i think is very similar to him he's actually not in this list here but it is yuri berchiche uh, that what if plus card i think this card is actually very similar to that card and i think this card performs uh, admirably admirably well compared to that berchiche um so overall guys i think if we just go into the comparison actually i'll pull this up for you guys so you guys can see where he sits compared to berchiche because i think it's actually very important considering that this is one this is a, a fullback in the same sort of mold you guys can see here although Although the stats are dramatically different in terms of in-game stats i actually don't feel like there's that much between these two cards you guys can see there's a lot in berchiche's shot category which leads to the difference as well and um, the passing of course from berchiche is better far better on the short pass as well so that's a real big difference there guys that i did notice however what I would say is in the dribbling, I didn't notice that much because Berchiche is a tall fullback. I do feel like this Gunter card is good enough at fullback, especially agility-wise. Defending-wise, of course, again, Berchiche leading the way. However, Gunter does get a couple of stats over him, and in the physicality department, they are dead level. Um... But you guys can see here on the face of the card as well, generally there's not that much to separate between these two, so I do feel like this card is a very viable option. In terms of link ability, guys, you've got perfect links there to the other players that he in that in that Bundesliga team there. You've got German players in the Bundesliga too, as well as German icons. So there's some really nice link ability, especially uh, over the last few promos that we've had. The end of Nera cards as well are in there too. In terms of the price comparison, guys, we get into a situation now where we're looking at him compared he's really at the bottom of a certain level or threshold of fullback which is patrick van anholt tierney luke shaw you've got gunter in there as well and then he's above that next level which is alba gaia guerrero i do think he is better than this uh tier down here i do think he belongs in the tier above i actually think he belongs higher than this tier as well now the second informed tierney is a fantastic card i think these two are both undervalued but i do think this gunter card is a really good value card guys um really is worth it really great defender really good physicality and i loved using him uh, i can't stress enough how good he was for me which leads me into my final uh, comparison on this one guys and i guess i will compare him to a couple of fullbacks the first one is wendell who i have used but don't have in my club i think wendell's okay i don't think he has a lot over this gunter card and this gunter card is perfectly serviceable compared to that wendell in terms of daily sink graven i think sink graven is more technically capable than this gunter card but gunter is a physical monster compared to sink graven as well so there's that as well compared to alfonso davis of course davis has the advantage in every element because davis is a physical card fast and and really technically capable so this gunter card doesn't quite stack up against that alfonso davis the road to the final or the team of the year however compared to sink Robin, compared to wendell or compared to other fullbacks you can think of in the bundesliga he will hold his own he's able to play well in any team whether it is at fullback or center back so my recommendation would be go and pick up this card cheap card for you guys to get uh, and will link into your teams really nicely links into those boatengs the the bender lars bender and sven bender as well uh, links into neuer too so really nice linkability options there really worth the price tag hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did please do smash that like button until next time i will see you all in a bit